Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this infographic in Word. So the easiest way to do an infographic is to design and customize one section and then to copy and paste it. So first I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to go to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select this curved edge square or rounded edge rectangle and then just click and drag out a rectangle. So if you want to go for a precise height, then just go up to this section here, which says height. You'll only see it if you've got this selected and you're on shape format. So go up to height here and I'm going to select 4.5. And in here, I'm just going to select four and press enter. Now, every shape has a border line and a fill color. So for this one, we're just going to get rid of the borderline here and to do that just go up to this icon here click on the drop down and select no outline and then for the fill color we're going to go to this icon here you can select any color you like and then you can come back at the end and choose specific colors or you can go to more fill colors and here you have a color wheel this is the lighten and darken slider and here you have a cursor which you can move this around and select any color of your choice and then the color of your choice will be in this square here and just click OK. So I've already got some colors selected. So I'm going to go to this color here, deselect my shape and go to insert shapes, select the circle and then holding down my shift key, I'm going to click and draw out a circle. If you don't hold down the shift key, you'll make an oval shape. And then this time I'm going to select this color. It's already been selected, so I'm just going to click on it. And then with the outline, I'm going to change it to white. And then I'm actually going to go down to weight and I'm going to select six. Then to give this a bit of a shadow so it just stands out from the background, I'm going to select it. Go to shape format and go along to format pane. Over here, you've got format shape. We've got fill and line. And here we've got some formatting as well. I'm going to go down to shadow, go to presets and I'm going to select the left hand shadow. Sorry, you can't see it. And then with the blur here, the slider here, I'm just going to blur that shadow. Now to make sure that this circle is halfway between the top and bottom of this rectangle, I'm going to select them both, hold down the command or control key, select them both by clicking on them, then go to align, align to middle, and then deselect. So that's the first part. The second part is I am going to put text in here does make it easier to copy and paste it. So go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. And then I'm going to insert some text in here. But first of all, I'm going to take out the borderline. You can see we've got a black borderline here and a white background. Select it, go to no outline and then no fill. Then I'm just going to copy and paste in some text. You don't need to see me type in. And then I'm just going to move this over. Now this text is white. In order to do that, you just need to select the text box, go to the home tab, and then you can go to here and select the white for the white text. Then in order to make the text fit, you can either select it and reduce the size of it here in the decrease font size tool. I'm just going to put a little line in here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more, just makes it a little bit easier. Go to insert shapes. I'm actually going to select a rectangle. I just find them easy in the lines, particularly when I want to make quite a thick line. Again, go to shape fill. I'm going to select white and I'm going to select no outline. And then I'm just going to move it. Now you can see it's quite clunky when I move it. If you press down your alt or option key, you'll see that it smooths out that movement. I'm just going to place it halfway between the title and the text. So once I've done that, I'm just going to select everything by holding down the command or control key, making sure everything's selected. I'm going to zoom out and then holding down my alt key first, click and drag. And then you'll see that you can make copies of your selection and your customized graphic. Now you can go in and change all of the titles and all of the text. And then we're also going to insert a graphic into these circles here. So to do that, go to insert icons over here on the right. You can search for anything you like. I'm just going to put in business and then you can scroll through and select any icon you like for this particular one. Let's select this one here. 
click insert. Often Word will place it where you can't move it, you can't really resize it. So what you need to do is keep it selected, go to wrap text, go to in front of text, then you can move it wherever you like and resize it. I'm going to hold down my shift key to make sure I keep the ratio. If that happens and you move the circle, just press Command or Control Z to go back. Again, holding down that Alt key to make that motion nice and smooth. And then we can go to Graphics Format, Graphics Fill and make sure we're on white. Now I'm just going to go through and put some more graphics into here. Then I'm going to come back, change all of the colours, align everything and do the larger graphics on the right. Okay, once we're finished with the icons, let's go through, select the background and hold down that Alter Option key. Hold down the Command or Control key and select this circle. Go to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill and select the next colour. Go ahead and do that to all of the other ones. Perfect. Now to make sure they're all aligned, I'm going to select everything in the whole selection. Go to group and select group. Just go through and do that to everything. Okay, once they're all grouped, just select them all. Okay, once they're all grouped, decide where you want the bottom one to go and where you want the top one to go. You might want them really close together or you want them really far apart. Deciding on where the top and bottom one goes will allow word to spread the center ones out equally so I'm going to choose to about here and here then I'm going to select them all holding down my command and control key go to align distribute vertically then we've got equal space between them all and then align align to left and then group and then again if we align align to middle they'll be perfectly centered in your page now for the graphic, I'm going to put a line across the centre, but so it doesn't interfere with the graphics I'm trying to select, I'm going to put it in the headers and footers. So double click at the top of the page, we can see now we're in the headers. Go to insert, shapes, then select the line, click hold down the shift keys for a perfectly horizontal line, and then go to align, align to middle, and that line now is in the centre of our page. Double click inside the middle here. And now we can go and put our lines in. Go to insert, shapes, click on the line, go to the center of this circle, click and drag to the line here. Again, hold down that alter option key and make sure you cross the line at the end. Once it's selected, we'll go up to the format page and we'll go to format shape. And in the line here, we're going to set the line to a gray color, maybe a little bit darker. And the width here, we're going to go for three and press enter. Maybe just take that line color down a little bit. There we go. Now I know it's on the top here, but we'll change that all at the end. What I'm going to do now is once that line is selected, you can see with a little green ball at the top, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag out another line. And again, do two lines and again another two lines, but we'll delete one of those lines. Okay, so we can go from the bottom and we can just click on this green ball, put it in the center of this circle. And again, we're gonna stretch it across so that it neatly goes to the end there. Perfect. So now we're gonna select each of the lines by holding down the command and control key and clicking on each line. You can see when it's selected because of the little green balls at the end. And then go to send backwards, center back deselect and you can see now they've gone behind all of the graphics. I'm going to now get rid of this line so again double click at the top, select the line and then press delete and then double click back in to the main part of the diagram. Then go to insert, shapes, click on the circle and then click hold down the shift key and draw out a circle. With this circle, I'm going to select it and go back over to our format shape. For the fill, I'm going to use the grey again and the line I'm going to take to white and the width I'm going to take to 10 and press enter. Now I'm going to duplicate this by holding down the Alt or Option key, clicking and dragging, just make sure it's selected and just deselect 
them both and reselect this one. I'm going to resize it, hold down the shift key to make sure we still maintain that ratio. And then I'm going to select both circles, holding down the command or control key, go to align, align to center, align, align to middle. And then I'm just going to move them both over. Now this is all personal choice, so you can move them wherever you like. Try to move them into the center. You can see these boxes here should line up with this line here. Then go to insert text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Then we can insert our text. Then I'm going to select all the text, go to the home tab, I'm going to make it all uppercase. I'm going to increase the size of it. I'm also going to change it to white. Go to shape format. And I'm going to take out the outline and the no fill, the shape color. Actually, no, we're going to keep the shape color to the same color as the background, which is that gray there. Perfect. And then the infographic, I'm going to make bold. So select it, go to the home tab and select bold. Just make that a little bit bigger. Okay. So now we're going to format this box here. And you can see there's a much bigger space at the bottom here than there is at the top. And the way that we can change that to make sure this text is in the middle is to go over to format shape and go to this box here. And then you can see top margin here, you can see some arrows. I'm just going to click on the top arrow a number of times until I'm happy it's in the middle and then deselect. And you can see how it cuts through this circle and makes a nice addition. So now we can also group all of this together, select it all, go to shape format, select group and then select group and then we can just make sure it's in the middle of the page aligned to middle and finally the background let's just zoom out because we're going to go to insert shapes click on the circle and then I'm going to click and draw out a giant oval all the way across our page so that it covers the entire page don't worry too much about the oval itself just make sure it covers the page all will become clear and then go over to format shape and go to the bucket icon go down to gradient fill and then I've already rehearsed this so you can go down to this slider at the bottom here and you need to select a color in here so I've selected white make sure it's selected go to color and select a light gray sorry not white and then this one here click on that one and then I've selected this gray here for the gradient. It must be a radial gradient. And when you click on the bar here, select the middle one, which is where the light comes from the center. Now you can play around this. You can do different colors if you want to. It's completely up to you. It's quite versatile and you can customize it. Once you've done this, go up to send backwards and click center back. And there you have your background. Now, once you've finished this, you can save it as a PDF file. So you can go up to File, Save As, and then you can click down at the bottom here and you can see PDF is at the bottom. Alternatively, you can save it as a Word document or you can save it as a template and you can use it over and over again. So click on Template, make sure it's saved in the Templates file here and at the bottom, Microsoft Word Template. Then when you open your software, you can see templates at the top and it will always be there to use over and over again. So I hope this has helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.